I knew from the very beginning that this guru is something special. Baba is a revolutionary par excellence. He brings change in every area of life. Baba to me is the oneness of everything. He's a very miraculous, a very powerful person. He gives love so Indira much. Gandhi got it in her head that Baba would be her downfall. My guru is in jail because he opposes this whole system. He propounded one theory known as proud, and that was the cause for persecution. Baba did not come randomly to this planet. He came with a mission, and he came at a critical juncture in history. equal, that both are eligible for spiritual realization, for enlightenment or, you know, the highest spiritual states, that he didn't discriminate between men and women, which in a lot of traditional, uh, say, Indian practices or even Asian practices or even in the West, <laughs> there's a discrimination between sort of men and women's uh, spiritual practice and also their roles within the spiritual community. So Baba, first of all, emphasized many times that men and women spiritually are equal, even though we have differences on the physical and even the, the psychic levels due to our different glandular makeup. But the glands we use for spiritual practice are, are the highest glands in the human brain. And he said there's no difference between men and women at that level. Because of this also, he not only created an order of monks, but he created an order of nuns. So that was one important aspect of Baba's kind of elevation of women in the society. And another was that Baba said society, in order for society to develop, there must be a coordinated cooperation between the male and the female sides of society and the qualities of both the male and the female must be utilized in equal measure. So for this, um, towards this aim, in 1965, Baba created a department in Anandamarga called Women's Welfare Department. And he specifically gave the du duty to the Didis, to the female Acharyas, to to develop and to run this women's welfare department. I even questioned Baba. He had written once that, you know, like women are like better at home, you know? And I was like, oh yeah? Since when? I mean, they should go to the moon <laughs> like this, you know? So um, then I asked him that Baba, why you said like this? So he said, no, there's nothing. I'd never say that women can't, they can't can do any job, they can do anything but better in the home. And, and I was like, okay, I want intellectual reason, you know, I'm waiting for some intellectual reason. And he's, then he just said to me, when the baby cries, who does it want? And it just hit <laughs> the female part of me that when the baby cries, he wants his mother, doesn't want his mother off somewhere, he wants to be. So Baba said, women are better at home, but women are not second class citizens. Women are equal. He said in, in Anandamarg, you'll find in many religions that women don't have the same standard as the men. The men can be the, the priests or the pundits and the other thing. The women can't, you know? But in Anandamarg, the women and the men are absolutely equal, They're spiritually equal. Baba said, if women have uh, education 
and economic independence, they will be able to take their rightful place as equal partners of their enemy. <laughs> Anand Bharati, the head of the Women's Welfare Department. The two things is essential on any part, and that we have not acquired it from anywhere. We have born with it. That is one. One is blind faith and surrender. So when the children come to our primary school and we teach them write A like this, and if the child asks. Why, madam, like this, and why not like this? Can you answer me? You will say no. Whatever I say, you have to learn. A is only written like this. The child has to surrender. He learns A like this, and he tells other ah, My teacher has taught me to write A like this. So A is written only like this. So where what he does? He keeps blind faith in the teacher, and when he learns, he surrenders. You call a cab. You want to go to some destination. You don't ask standing there, "Oh, driver, do you really know? Try to drive properly. Can you really take me to my destination? Have you done any accident before? Are you sure you will reach me there? You don't ask. You just." Have blind faith in the driver. You open the door. You sit in the cab, and that is surrender. The so blind faith and surrender goes together in anything you want to achieve. Avadhutika Ananda Karuna tells of her first meeting with Baba. You know, when I came to join this mission, so first I saw him at Gajipur, evening five o'clock. Then he asked me, how, how are you? And I said, I'm yes. all right. Then he said, you know everything. And I'm very surprised because that time I don't know English, Hindi, and any language. He said, no, 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 you know everything. But I told him in, in my mind, I do not express in mind, that I, I thinking in my mind that I don't know anything. I don't know English, I don't know anything. Then how he can say I know everything? I'm very surprised. It, I, actually, it is happened is 25th December, 19. 66, evening 5 o'clock, and 27 December, automatic from my mouth is coming Hindi and English, just fluently. Nobody can understand where from I get it. I do not write, I do not read out, I do not anything, I never learn, but automatic it is come. So this is the greatest uh, experience for my life. And when I saw Baba, then Baba is asked me that I have two hands. Mm -hmm. One hand is male and one is female. If my one hand is very less, not strong, then how I can flew? The bird cannot flew in one, With one wing. wings. Then Baba said, okay, then I need to make the strong two wings. Then I could not understand first in the beginning what he said. Then after I said, oh, Baba actually is telling to us. They, because we are few didis, not so many didis. Then he want to increase our didis section. 
that we, Baba's two hands can be strong and then he can work more strongly. He created the Women's Welfare Department in 1965 and the Women's Welfare Department has many kind of sub-sections or branches. So one is the, the education section uh, which runs schools, uh, children's schools all over the world uh, in uh, disadvantaged or developing countries and also in the developed world. So there's many schools run by uh, sisters and didis all over the world. We have a section called PWSA which is Progressive Women's Spiritual Association which is more focused on sort of adult literacy amongst women or not only literacy but getting out of economic <laughs> disadvantage let's say PWSA then we have uh, the GV which is called Girls Volunteers which runs like camps and programs to develop the physical uh, strength of women. So we do things like have martial arts training, self-defense training. We talk about the, the problems women face in society. My sons and my daughters are just like two hands of mine. They are just like two wings of a bird. A bird having one wing cannot fly. Mora, Mora, Mukto Bumir me, Mukto Bumir me. Dungri Pahari, Choranadari, Dungri Pahari.
ठुभुमिर में ठुभुमिर